Hello, this is Samina. I am the Honorary Librarian at the Library at the Birmingham and Midland Institute and this is another in our series of Books as Artifacts. This is a reproduction of the most expensive book in the world. The um, original is, well one of the originals, is worth about 12 million dollars. Uh, that's not this, but um, it is just as beautiful. But as an artefact, it's quite interesting. The uh, book is Birds of America, and the author and illustrator is John James Audubon, who was born in 1785. He was uh, the son of a French naval officer and a local Creole woman. Of course, she doesn't have a name. Um, and um, there were many um, contemporaneous talks about how he was actually the missing Dauphin after the um, French Revolution, but none of these are substantiated. He lived and worked in America and was also a scientific fellow in um, Edinburgh and New York. So he was well known. He got into a bit of trouble in with gambling and debts and ended up being thrown into a debtor's jail. And when he left, he left with, he went into the wilderness with a gun, his set of paints and the clothes on his back. And he came back with paintings and drawings of the birds of America. He refused to stuff to paint stuffed birds because they looked like, um, he said they looked like morgue pieces. So he um, painted from life. And as you can see, they are absolutely stunning. The first book came out in 1827 and it was, uh, a, they were watercolors that were published and they were transferred to be aquatint engravings. There were 435 plates and it was a double elephant folio, which meant that each sheet was 39 and a half inches by 26 and a half inches, so pretty huge. And then it was reprinted with um, printed plates rather than um, aquatints. In 1840, there were seven volumes of those, and in that one, there were three, there were 500 plates. So being a bird nerd and a book fanatic, this is one of my most beautiful finds. We have Grasshopper Sparrow and the Robin. The American Robin is very different from the British Robin. These are the Night Hawks. And it shows not only the bird in all of its plumage, but where it lives because of the oak leaves and what it eats. And this is the fish crow eating a crab. It is just a spectacular book and it is one of those books that you would want to see before you died. But obviously if this were the real one it would be about f four times the size. This one is Audubon's Karakara uh, which is named after him presumably because he found it. black-capped chickadees. This is the nest. So another exceptional book that exists in the world. What a marvellous thing, these beautiful passion flowers. Oh, it says here, this is com the Zenaida dove common in the West Indies but not recorded in Florida since Audubon's time. So that's migration or extinction. The Greer Falcon. The Great Blue Heron. You can imagine how spectacular this would be at the full size.
and they all look alive that's that's because he drew them from life rather than from um being stuffed they all have a twinkle in their eye they're all busy doing what they do some little sketches here at the side just a wonderful wonderful book so another in our series of books as artefacts.